हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल फिजिक्स मेड इजी कोटा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द चैप्टर एटम एंड न्यूक्लियाई दिस इज अ फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर वी लर्न अबाउट द रेडियो एक्टिविटी एंड अबाउट द न्यूक्लियस सो फॉर द न्यूक्लियस द साइज ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस ऑलवेज मैटर्स द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द साइज ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस वॉज मेड फ्रॉम द रिजल्ट ऑफ रद फॉर स्कैटरिंग ऑफ अल्फा पार्टिकल एंड इट इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व दैट एंड कंक्लूड दैट द साइज ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस वेरी लीनियरली विद द मास नंबर दैट दे हैव द डायरेक्ट रिलेशन विद द मास नंबर इफ द मास नंबर इज मोर दैन द साइज ऑफ न्यूक्लियस विल बी मोर next what about the density we all know density is always mass per unit volume so for the nuclear density mass per unit volume of a nucleus is called the nuclear density nuclear density is a constant and it is independent of the mass number of a nucleus nucleus consists of protons and the neutrons neutrons and the protons together known as the nucleons but there is a difference between the mass of these nucleons which are present in the nucleus and the complete mass of the nucleus this difference in the mass is known as the mass defect stability of a nucleus is also required so to account for the stability of a nucleus concept of a forces that is a nuclear forces arises nuclear forces are assumed to be the strong attractive force of magnitude greater than the coulomb's repulsive forces these forces are responsible for the stability of a nucleus so there are the various properties of the nuclear forces the first property is that nuclear forces are the strong fundamental forces in nature that the magnitude of the nuclear forces between two protons is 100 times the coulomb's electrostatic repulsive force and 10 raised to power 36 times the greater than the gravitational attractive force so we can say that they are the more stronger than the coulomb comes repulsive force and they are able to keep the nucleons bound in a very small nucleus second property is that they are the non central forces which means that the force between the two nucleons does not act along the line joining their center next these forces are short range forces that these forces only exist inside the nucleus and next that these forces are also known as the exchange forces because nuclear forces are due to the exchange of the pi meson between the nucleons so they are known as the exchange forces nuclear force is also a saturator force nuclear force becomes quickly zero when distance between the two nucleons is just about 3 fm thus a nucleon can attract only the nearest neighbor and it has no influence on the other nucleons radioactivity is one of the phenomena which deals with the spontaneous emission of radiations by heavy elements there are the different types of the radioactive elements that show this phenomena so why they show such kind of the behavior so there is a respective cause between this phenomena that the heavy nuclei are instable and due to the instability that become the cause for the radio activity binding energy per nucleon play a very great role that the binding energy per nucleon for such nuclei those having the mass number greater than 140 keeps on decreasing slowly it means that the heavier nuclei are not stable so that all the nuclei which have the mass number greater than 140 are led to be having the instability so we can say that heavy nuclei have large number of the protons and the electrostatic repulsion between protons badly affect the nuclear forces so it make the heavy nucleus unstable so electrostatic repulsion have a great impact in making the instability of the heavy nuclei but the physical conditions like temperature and pressure do not affect radioactivity 
during the process of the radioactivity some of the rays get deflector positively charged rays are the alpha rays and the alpha particle is equivalent to the helium nucleus that it contain the two protons and the two neutrons here are some properties that they have the rest mass equal to four times the mass of the protons they are deflected by magnetic field as well as by electric field they can cause the skin burns they are scattered by the thin metallic foils and also they slightly affect the photographic plates negatively charged rays which are deflected are known as the beta rays and the beta particles are the negatively charged particles and their charge equal to the charge of the electrons their rest mass is equal to the mass of the electron they are also deflected by electric field as well as by magnetic field they affect the photographic plates they cause the fluorescence in some substances the rays which are not deflected are uncharged and they are known as the gamma rays or high energy photons there are some properties that first of all they have no charge and their relative rest mass is zero they are not deflected by electric and magnetic field because they consist of no charge they travel with the speed of the light in vacuum they have all the properties of an electromagnetic wave law of radioactive decay which is also known as a disintegration so the rate of disintegration of a radioactive substance at any instant is directly proportional to the number of the nuclei in the radioactive substance at that time there are the certain rules which are obey so the rule number 1 is radioactive decay is a spontaneous process it means that it is not affected by the whatever the external conditions may be whatever be the temperature pressure it will not be affected next law state that at a time a nucleus will emit one alpha particle or one beta particle only both alpha and beta particles are not emitted simultaneously and gamma rays emission follow the emission of alpha or beta particles so when a radioactive element decays by emitting a beta particle the position of the new formed element which is known as the daughter element is raised by one position in the periodic table when a radioactive element decays by emitting a gamma rays its position remain the same in the periodic table whenever it decay by emitting the alpha particle then the position of the daughter element is down by two places in the periodic table so nuclear reactions the process by which a stable element is changed to the another element and its stability is destroyed when it is bombarded by an energetic particle first nuclear reaction was performed by the scientist rutherford he bombarded nitrogen with alpha particle and obtain oxygen and proton nuclear reactions are of two types the first one is a nuclear fission it is a process of splitting a heavy nucleus into two lighter nuclei releasing large amount of energy for example uranium is bombarded with a thermal neutron then it is found that the products are obtained along with the three neutrons and large amount of energy barium krypton along with the three neutrons are formed second type is a nuclear fusion in which the two lighter very small nuclei combine to form a nucleus which has a large mass number for example when two nuclei of the deuterium fuse together the new product is formed that is the helium and the neutron similarly for the another isotopic form of the hydrogen now here is some difference between the chemical reaction and the nuclear reaction for the chemical reaction one substance is converted into the another but atoms never change their identity for the nuclear reaction atoms of one element typically converted into atoms of another element only electrons take part in the chemical reaction nucleus of elements take part in the nuclear reactions
small amount of energy evolved during chemical reaction but a large amount of the energy released during nuclear reaction reaction rates are influenced by temperature concentration and catalyst for the chemical reactions but for the nuclear reactions reaction rates are depend on the concentration of the elements they do not depend upon the physical conditions and the catalyst so thank you for watching keep watching our channel take care have a nice day